And back here closer to home, protests continue in Minnesota after police used a no-knock warrant to enter an apartment and shot and killed the man inside less than 10 seconds after making entry. Now, the mayor of Minneapolis has issued a moratorium on no-knock warrants, but frustrations are still growing. The calls for justice growing louder, a second day of protest in Minneapolis after the death of 22-year-old Amir Locke at the hands of police. It's kind of hard to put into words how I feel. I'm kind of numb, but um, I think it's important just to show our support. Locke's family still in shock. Never would I have imagined that I would be standing up here talking about the execution yes. of yes. my son yes. by the Minneapolis Police Department. Body camera footage shows police using a key to quietly enter an apartment to execute a no-knock warrant. A SWAT team storms in, identifies themselves, and then kicks the sofa where Locke was sleeping. Officer Mark Hanneman seen on camera firing at least three shots, killing the young man less than 10 seconds after entering the apartment. The officer has been placed on administrative leave. The police report saying Locke was armed with a handgun pointed in the direction of the officers. This still from the body cam footage shows Locke holding his registered handgun with his finger along the side of the barrel, not on the trigger, with the weapon pointed down. But in the video, it appears he had just woken up. Some say not enough has been done to prevent these tragedies. We need to change how we evaluate the efficacy, the effort in police officer activity across the board, but especially as it pertains to no-knock warrants and the use of a very limited tool. According to police, the raid was part of a homicide investigation in nearby St. Paul. Locke was not named in the warrant. Christine Sloan, ABC News, New York.